Well, good morning. Williams Philippines here, William. Or fish. Anyway, uh, today is March 6th, 2024. I uh, hope y'all have had a good day. Or are having a good day. <laughs> Depends on where you're at. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Time is just a group concept of which I was not a member of the group that conceived it. So why am I bound by somebody else's conceptions, ideas, and, well, they still can't figure out how long a day is, so. Their delusions runs our lives. Why? I don't get it. Eh, it is what it is. Anyway, time. Fun stuff. Anyway, good morning. I've been, uh, checking out video, and they had one about the SRRB special retirement or re, special resident retirement visa over there in the Philippines and was watching that it's pretty much the one I'm going to visa I'm shooting for but we'll see never know for sure I may just do a tourists got to look at the costs over there once I get there and see long term what's going to be better but uh yeah I don't know about you, but I'm trying to save money. I don't need to blow my dollars if I can avoid it. You know, it's... Those things are too hard to make. I sure don't want to take and end up uh, having to throw them away because I wasted them. So, that's one of the things I'll be looking at. Some folks don't like the idea of putting down money as a investment over there or putting it in the bank over there it is what it is choices 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 everything in life is a choice the question is what consequence are you willing to suffer for the choices that you do make yeah so if you choose not to have a bank over there you end up paying more transfer fees and such I don't know uh, it is what it is. Anyway, it's been stuck in my elbow for an hour. Uh, with the SRRB, you have to put like 10000 or 20000 depending, or 1500 depending on how it works, uh, which one you qualify for. 10000 I think, is what mine would be. So, yeah, uh, get over there and start trying to figure out like I said uh, first bit will be getting my eyes fixed and once I get my eyes fixed and a scooter or a trike I don't know I probably end up with both because uh, apparently you can't take anything smaller than a 400 trike or motorcycle through Manila area They've got restrictions. It has to be at least 400 cc. I'm not sure I like that idea of having something that big. Maybe rent one to go through there and hit that part of it and get it back and then get something smaller because quite honestly, I don't need a big bike. Uh, speed Demon. Uh, you got the power. You want to use it. You use it, and then you wonder why you had a wreck. I don't really want to suffer that problem, so take my time. Slow down. I'm in no big hurry. So what if it takes me uh, six months to get one part of a island done? It's a big island, Luzon. Uh, I could be okay with six months doing the north end of lose on or six months doing the south end to lose I don't care it's a vacation or well, retirement and that's the thing go over there to slow down stop trying to kill yourself stressing out stress kills I don't want stress like I said my guys on my dad's side we go off early 65 to 67 if I can die of old age at 84 
being the not young man on my mom's side and I die broke fishing on a tropical island what's the downside oh I died of old age on a tropical island while fishing oh yeah there is no downside <sighs> folks just stress out too much over stuff and you know I hear all these folks talking about you know you have to have this much you have to and it's like I live off less than that here in America and you're telling me I have to have twice that to live in the Philippines you're idiots sorry but I'm just gonna stay say that you can live well you can live up what you have they do it over there for three five hundred six hundred thousand you know if you're making you know a thousand dollars here well over there that puts you at middle class plus you know you're you're on the upper edge of you know middle of middle class you're heading toward yeah upper middle class and I don't see how folks can't live off of something like that it's just a choice and everything in life is a choice I mean I'm choosing to do what I do here because I you know, I show up and work here at this job because it pays me enough to take and do my three ring circus here make the dollars I need to keep things going and I still get to go visit my friends have an occasional night out with Dave in the, you know at the bar and that's actually led to the disaster of Cindy finding out I'm retiring to the Philippines oh god now I am just, she wants back with me after throwing me away because oh yeah I wasn't too I was not ambitious enough before, but now that I've you know my plan actually works and things are going right, she wants back in. All right, William back. Uh, the evil W called. Well, the phone called, uh, causing me having to do my evil W. Yeah, do the work. Sorry about that, I didn't mean cuss at you. The evil W word. <laughs> but yes, <clears throat> we get to choose what we do with our lives. And I choose to do this job. And like I said, you know, it's, it's, it allows me to do what I want to do. I'm not, uh, you know, rich by any means. I'm not trying to stress out and, you know, try to make a billion dollars a minute. I just could care less I have fun I enjoy my life and you know I got folks that actually try to help my life improve my friends I help them they help me and that's a good thing I don't know about you but I understand that Beatles song you know get by with a little help from your friends that's a good thing but anyway, I do intend on getting over to the Philippines in about 15, 16 months. And it's getting closer to being 14, 15 months, and I'm real happy about that. I don't know about you, but uh, I am ready to retire. And yeah, it'd be nice if I was rich and you know, didn't have to worry about it and could just go. But I've been taking my time and doing my thing and improving my life on a regular basis. You know, building toward things. And, you know, I was uh, catching a video that some people were talking about the generations, Gen Y, Z, X, Q, whatever, Boomer, Zoomer, and all this other. And... They were talking about the different traits, and I guess it's, uh, I do have, you know, a tendency to work and plan, follow my plans, and try to get things done the way that I see they need to be. I'm not trying to, 
rule the world. I'm just trying to take care of me. Life goes on. But anyway, sorry about the interruption on the video. Uh, hopefully I can tag this back together. Uh, I'm getting better at this. Uh, figuring it out. And I'm doing these shorts, short uh, little daily vlog videos here on this Chromebook because it allows me to do it on the easiest way to get it done although I'm not sure about the editing part uh, but this lets me just pop one out with this is my background and get it done fast and easy and I'm trying to take and keep up with one a day uh, being that this is the sixth I've got 25 more to go just to finish this month uh, and well I don't know the, part of me says keep it up and keep going the other part saying why try to take and pound out something every day some folks do you know a video every day and I'm like I don't know I've been doing this uh, less than a year and I have just now started doing once a day just what two three less than three weeks ago something like that so yeah new territory we'll see but I'm gonna at least finish out this month and try to figure it out from there anyway this is William from Williams Philippines and I'm fish fish out later blessings bye bye y'all have a beautiful day